Hey everyone, this is Aisha and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a video. I guess you can say an updated like foundation routine for me. I don't really use heavy foundation in the summer because it is hot and it's just going to, you know, bleed and run all over the place. So I use either tinted moisturizers or skin tints. Um, I go between two. Today I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. I've actually been using this since last year. I don't exactly know why I didn't do a video with it, but I use it a lot and I like it. So um, I'm going to show you how I prime and prep my skin so it'll last throughout the day. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see how I achieve this look using the Fenty Ease Drops, please stay tuned. So for the sake of time, my brows are already done. I use the Precisely Brow by... Um, benefit and also the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. So the two, um, basically I guess you could say tinted moisturizer I go between is the Lip Bar. This is the 3-in-1 Tinted Skin Conditioner. I really do like this a lot. And they have a good concealer as well that has caffeine in it. But for today I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty which one is this? This is the Ease Drops um, Blurring Skin Tint. My color is 20. My color with the foundation is 420, so it kind of matches what your foundation is. If you use that foundation, you know what your color is. So I have tried it like this before. I already have my moisturizer on and also my SPF. It works well for me since I'm oily with the Fenty Skin Matte Primer here. So I'm going to put my primer on and go in with the Ease Drops. It is not full coverage, but it gives you good coverage for some time. All right. Before I really get started, let me put my hair back a little bit. I don't like to get products in my hair. I don't like it all. All right, so you are going to shake it up. I apply I apply mine directly to the face. Um, got a little hyperpigmentation going on, on this side, so I want to. Put it on this side so you can see how it looks. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M439 brush and blend it out. I'm not gonna put any right up under my eye because I am still going to use concealer. So you can see the difference this is the side with the tint and this is without. All right. Like I said, it is a light semi in coverage. It is not full coverage. We don't need Full, full coverage in the summer. It is hot. I always forget my nose for some reason. Alright, so just blend, blend that out. Alright. So what I like to do with my concealer I like to let it dry down some, but I am going, so I'm going to go ahead and put some on, but I'm going to do something else while it is drying down. So while my concealer is drying down, I'm going to use, going to contour my face with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso. This is my favorite. Contour, I've been using this for years. It is a cream 
but it dries down like a powder. I'm going to use this for my eyes as well, for my eyeshadow. So we're not doing a lot of makeup for the summer. I'm going to use my MAC 109 brush to blend it out. Just blend it right on out to that hairline. This is like the perfect color with this. Whatever excess I have, I just go down here. I got to put my, my highlight down my nose as well. All right, so for blending out my highlight, I'm going to use the Morphe E8 brush. This is the brush here. Just join those two sections together and don't bring it down too far. For my highlight, as far as to set it, I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery setting powder in cassava. This is it here. I'm not going to use a lot, just a little. I don't want to look dry under my eye, so we're just going to set it a little bit. Before I do my setting powder, I'm going to use the um, Fenty Pro Filter Powder. But before I set it to help with shine, I'm going to use the What It Do setting spray first before I add my, my um, powder. While that is getting in and setting, I'm going to then go in with my espresso matchstick and use it on my eyes. I'm going to take a regular brush. This is a Morphe 535 brush and I'm going to use it as my eyeshadow. This is going to add some warmth to my eye. Same thing on the other side. Now that that's done, I'm also going to go ahead in with my blush. I'm going to use the Cheeks Out by Fenty as well. This is the color in Strawberry Dip. This is it here. I'm going to use a pretty dense brush. It is a cream blush, so I use a denser brush with it. Seems light, but it actually has a very pretty color once you blend it out. All right, that's on. Now I'm going to go in with my 410 powder from Fenty. My powder is a little bit lighter because for whatever reason, the powders with Fenty to me seems a little bit darker than the foundation. So I didn't get the 420, I got the 410. And this is it here. That's just blending everything together. Last thing as far as skin, I'm going to use the Fenty Liquid Killer Wide in Butter Brownie. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand here, just so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to blend it out. I don't necessarily like to use my hands for makeup, but I'm going to blend it out using a Morphe 509 brush, which is here. And I'm going to add my highlight. All 
Okay. Alright, I don't like for my highlight to be face on, but on the side, baby. You like the highlights. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna pop on a lash and come back and do my lip. Okay, so my lashes are on, nothing crazy. Just use some lashes I got, I think from maybe TJ Maxx. These are some Salon Perfect Wispies, just the Demi Wispies, nothing crazy. For my lips, I am going to first prep my lips with the Cherry Treat Lip Oil from Fenty Skin. If you don't have this, you need it. You need it, you need it, you need it. It is so good. All right, so for my liner, I'm gonna use my trusty cork liner from MAC. It's a brown liner. It's not as dark as chestnut, but it has a nice color to it. I just wanna, doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna use a gloss over it anyway. Well, use a gloss over the lipstick because I'm going to use a lipstick too. And for my lipstick, I'm going to use the Fenty Lipstick in Scala Sista. And this is it here. I'm not going to use a lot. It's kind of in the middle. That's it. Nothing too much. And last, for my gloss, I'm going to use the Fenty Heat in, this is a Fussy Heat. I didn't think I was going to like these because they tingle a little bit, but I do. Finish off the lip. I'm going to set everything with the Fenty What It Do setting spray all right guys so this is the finished look this is it light airy I won't be sweating like crazy it's a good look if you guys are using any tenant moisturizers or BB creams let me know in the comments below I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next video bye bye